Hello, this is Sharif for Engadget, and I'm going to be taking a look at the Sony Nex FS100, which I have neatly squirreled away in this Low Pro rucksack. This Low Pro is obviously designed to carry SLRs, DSLRs, so it's quite a testament to the portability of this thing that it fits so neatly in just half of the rucksack, with the, the top half here leaving me space for an actual SLR and um, other bits and bobs like a rain jacket, very useful in this country. We're going to set this up on my tripod now so I can give you a tour of each of each component. So starting with the body, one of the really nice things about this is that you can fit your tripod plate on the bottom but you can also fit it uh, on the side where the flash memory unit is. Here's your flash memory unit and here is an extra tripod connection so you could actually film in portrait mode which could be good for say fashion shoots uh, where, there, where there's people going up and down a catwalk for example portrait mode with full resolution could come in really handy but I've put my tripod plate on the on the bottom here so I'll slide it in a Sony Nex lens standard e-mount lens this one is 18 to 200 mils focal length fits on very much a standard to take off these lens caps first thing you'll notice of course is actually there's no automatic zoom control. It's all manual when it comes to zoom. Of course it has automatic focus but the zoom is manual and when it's at full stretch I don't know that kind of feels slightly uh, fragile to me and also I've noticed that when filming outdoors it tends to collect dust and bits of grass and stuff in between the sections of the lens. Next thing to go on is the handle, the grip all it has on it is a record button. Uh, there could be so much more on there really, a focus control, exposure control, anything could actually be transmitted to the camera through this uh, Lanky connection, this remote connection. But all Sony have put on here is a straightforward record, record control. Nevertheless, let's put that on. There we go. So the grip is now in place. Let's close this port up. There's a grip in place, and when it's handheld, that's essential. You tend to hold it by the lens where you're focusing and grip it with this. Next up comes the microphone mount, which is a hot shoe mount, and it's shaped like this to give you options in terms of how you want your microphone to be mounted. You can take the screws off, take the screws off the front here so that you can rotate this around. It just looks complicated, but it's simple to use, and it gives you quite a lot of flexibility. So it slides into the hot shoe mount there. Then a nice thing about the camera is the fact that all of the latches, there are no screw latches really, it's all clip latches. Final component essential for shooting outdoors is the viewfinder extension which clips onto the screen. Okay, so now I've got the camera set up, I'll give you a quick tour of all the controls and the different components in situ main set of controls here underneath the viewfinder you've got your, all your deck controls when you're using the body as a deck you've got your mic controls on this side up the top you've got the plus 48 volts which you need for the the kit mic or for a powered mic just mic or line for a line in you've got automatic and manual controls for the mic so they set their own level and if you put them on manual then you use these dials here to set your your levels and often you'll have two channels coming in on one and set to different gains so that you can protect yourself from high or low sounds. Your power button, start and stop, menu controls and the visual index which is what you press to, to look at your footage back. So they're the main controls on the top. On the side you've got your camera controls. You've got iris there and you can select it with the scroll reel or press auto iris uh, to let the camera pick uh, a, a, an aperture for you. You've got focus, auto, manual, expanded focus button here, which is really hard to find when you're shooting. Um, almost impossible, really. You just have to fiddle around until you find it. You use that to get a, a, a magnified view to, to correct your focus. And there's your push auto button. Those controls really are just a bit too fiddly. Along here, very familiar to anyone that's used a Sony camcorder before, professional camcorder at least. Gain, white balance, shutter speed, auto manual lock, menu, picture profiles, um, display, 
your yeah, these are these are just the same as on a Z1, Z5, Z7, and here is for your slow motion uh, functions. There, take off the lens. There, you can see where all your money's gone. It's gone on that large sensor right there. Uh, you'll be disappointed if you're expecting something bigger than 35mm. It's actually smaller than a stills camera 35mm. It's Super 35 from the f equivalent in the film industry, which is actually around the same size as APS-C. And I'll explain all of this in my text piece. Anyway, uh, I better put this back on. You end up using this to hold the camera from above because there's no there's no ha handle on the top, so you end up using this to lift up the camera and actually it's sturdy enough for it to work because the camera is so light. And then around here we've got ports, we've got uh, USB right next to your flash memory unit. This doesn't come as standard, Sony gave it to me, it's around £750, $1000 I think is the going rate for one of these, otherwise you'd use um, an SD card, a good quality SD card instead, which would be fine. I mean this gives you tons of minutes, something like 700 minutes for that. Next to it you've got your USB, uh, your mic input one, then above that here you can see the LCD hold wheel, so if you push it up like that you basically put some resistance to lock the um, angle of your viewfinder or the monitor if you've got the viewfinder detached release it and you can drop this thing down notice though that that's as far down as you're going to get the angle so if you're actually shooting up high so you've got your your tripod up high and you're angling the camera downwards you won't be able to see what you're shooting and moving around the camera I've got my component and AV outports there this is where the remote plugs in, just here, that's a LAN control. You've got your headphone plug right there, standard 3.5mm. You can monitor one or the other channel, or both at the same time. That's quite neat to have. And then I've got my second XLR just here. There's your second XLR. So often you'll have one cable coming around this side, and then the first input coming around that side. Um, but it generally is quite neat, even though most camcorders tend to have the two XLR ports side by side. Underneath that you've got the battery, just there. Um, and just underneath here, there's the battery release, a little latch for the battery release there. So it's easy to change while you're on a tripod. So there we have it, a quick tour of the Sony NEX FS100. Please check out my full text review. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.